Hello friends, today I'm going to solve it could problem number 918 maximum sum circular subarray. So in this problem we are given a circular integer array nums of length and and we need to return a maximum possible sum of norm empty subarray of nums. And what's a circular array? Basically a circular array means uh, you start from the zero index you move on until the last index and then the next uh, element after the last index is the zero index so basically it means that um, if nums i plus one modulus n is equals to zero then that is the first element so basically the next element of nums i is this value and a sub array must con okay now that we know we understand our question let's see how we could solve this problem so we are given this array let me just write it down here and we need to find the maximum sum so what's your intuition while you try to solve this problem well what do you do is uh, we start from the first and then we see that in the first case our maximum so far is like minus infinity because we do not have any values or we could just assign the maximum sum as the first element so the maximum will be equals to the first element so this is our maximum now what we need to do is we look at the next element which is minus 2 here and then uh, the sum would be 1 minus 2 right and what's the value it's minus 1 and is the max less than minus 1 no max is still greater so we won't change it now we have a contiguous sum of minus 1 that is the current sum so far and then what we do next is we take a sum with the next element which is 3 now once we take the sum with the uh, with 3 what do we get we get a value 2 right and we know that 2 is less than 3 so 2 is less than 3 which means that if we take a contiguous sum um, up to index 2 the value is equals to 2 however if we only take this sum so this could also be our contiguous sum with uh, one element right uh, so that would be equals to 3 which of the, these two is maximum of course 3 is maximum we need to maximize our solution right and that's why we take the maximum value here and then we compare our max value which was equals to 1 with our uh, maximum current sum which is equals to 3 and since 3 is maximum we update our max value to be equals to 3 similarly we move on to the next element and then we take our current uh, we evaluate our current sum and our current sum e is equals to 3 right so we take 3 minus 2 which is equals to 1 and 1 is greater than minus 2 right so 1 becomes our current sum and then 1 is still less than max our max is still the max value so we take this as our max value now here we only had to like we only have done uh, one iteration and we are not considering this as a circular matrix circular one so we have not taken this as circular now let's see another example here so we are given minus five three and a five okay five minus five and a five um actually five minus three and a five so now in this problem how can we can we solve this solution how could we solve this problem so we start from the first this is our max so our max is equals to five our current sum is also equals to five now we move to the next element what's the current sum is five plus minus three which is equals to two greater than our previous current sum which was equals to 5 okay no 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 not with our previous current sum but with the next element that is equals to 3 
which one is greater of course 2 is greater right and we compare 5 with 2 since 5 is all all already created we do not maximize we do not change anything next we can find our maximum here our current sum and since our current sum was equals to 2 we add a plus 5 to it and this gives us 7 and since 7 is greater than 5 so this is our current sum and now um, max 5 is less than 7 right so we update our value 7 here to 7 now um is that our max sum if we consider this as a circular array well of course not because in circular array if this was our circular array then our maximum would have been equals to 5 plus 5 because in circular array we can write this array as um like we have something like this right 5 3 and 5 so we start from 5 we move to 3 we start from from 3 to minus uh, minus 3 to 5 and 5 to 5 so our maximum if starting from this index would be equals to 5 plus 5 which is equals to 10 right so what are we actually doing here we are eliminating this value the middle value which is the negative value which is uh, the minimum value which leads to the minimum value to uh, from our um, array so so far what we did is we were only finding the maximum now we'll also find the max mean sum so minimum sum uh, using the similar method so what we did was um, to find the maximum we calculated the current uh, current max and then we updated our max sum right Simi in similar way we will calculate our mean current mean and then update our mean sum so i have a few examples here already solved so let's look at this example first so in this example we have both positive and negative values right and the formula to evaluate current max is let me just write this down here so we would evaluate this by maximum of current max so far and zero plus the value of num at index i and the max sum would be the maximum of current max or the max sum itself similarly our mean um, for mean sum and current mean we are just going to take the mean values of each of these and compare it with mean mean current mean and mean sum so this is our current mean and this is our mean sum right and then finally we will also calculate our sum which will be equals to um, so this is just our sum of the whole array elements now once we have evaluated this using uh, this whole thing using this formula the final result here looks something like this so this is the step by step four iterations of this uh, uh, solution and the final result the final value of current max is equals to one max sum is equals to three current mean is minus two mean sum is minus two and sum is equals to zero so the only things that we need here are to compare these three things so is the sum equals to minus 2 of course not so since it is not equals to minus 2 so what's the case is that our sum max sum will um, the result would either be equals to the maximum of the sum minus the mean sum or and max sum so the max value would be what would we return is uh, since it's not equal the sum is not equals to mean sum so it would be the max of max value of sum 
minus the mean sum i'm just writing the it in sort card comma the max sum so so this would be our result in this case we return the result which would be equals to three now what about this case five minus three five so as we saw we also did the evaluation previously our mean sum our sum is equals to seven mean sum is equals to minus three and max sum is also equals to seven now since um mean sum is not equals to the sum so these two sums are not equal so we'll all again do this evaluation here maximum so what's the sum sum is equals to seven minus the mean sum which is equals to minus three and the maximum which is equals to seven and what is the greatest value here well it is equals to 10 right because this evaluates to 10 so 10 is greater than 7 so this becomes our final answer and if you look that's what we are doing we are actually the sum uh, 7 is the sum of this whole area so it's the contiguous sum from this sum we are actually removing this negative value this the the value that is uh, actually decreasing the sum so once we remove this we what we get we get the maximum sum right so that is what we are doing with this formula here and if you look at this array it's all negative and since it's all negative the sum the total sum and the minimum sum of this array both of them are equal and since both of them are equal what we know is the maximum sum would be the element uh, with would only be one single um, element and that would be the element with the greatest value right since minus one is the greatest value and we have that minus one value in our maximum sum uh, so that is what we will return if these two values are equal now that i have explained to you how uh, the algorithm let's try to code our algorithm so what do we need is um, current mean let's initialize to zero current max initialize to zero sum initialize to zero and then uh mean okay mean sum initialize it to the first element okay and then max sum will also initialize it to the first element of the array okay now we will iterate over each of the element in our nums array so once we are iterating what do we evaluate so we calculate our min sum so i'll just copy paste this whole thing because it will save our time so i'm copy pasting this whole thing here all right so we don't need this index i And then finally we return if sum is equals to mean sum then we return our max sum right because this would mean that all the elements in our array is negative so we return the maximum else we would return the maximum value between sum minus mean sum and the max sum now let's try to run our code create and submit it so the space complexity is constant and time complexity is linear time complexity here 